All right, hi everyone, I'm Tracy and welcome to my channel. So today I have the brand new Fusion eye brushes from Sonia G. I just got them yesterday and here they are. So I'm gonna be going over each one, one by one. Um, I just wanted to preface this before I go on. I'm not a cream liquid shadow person. I have some that I dug up to try these with. But in general, I'm just it's just not the style that I like. I, I like creating um, depth and dimension in my eye. And also I have a lot of space between my eye and my eyebrow. So like that one done look um, just doesn't flatter um, my features. And so it's, just, it's not a type of medium that I'm accustomed to using. So um, I wanted to say that because uh, I'll just tell you guys, these didn't work out for me. And it's mainly because it's meant for someone that likes um, cream uh, eye products. And I just, I just don't. And I've tried them with a couple of other things and I'll share that with you guys soon. So I have found some things that if you're like me and not big into cream shadows, there are some things that you can use this for, but um, I'll go over that as I go over each individual brush. So I'm gonna start out with the smallest and then like work my way. I'll do this, the two round ones and then do the, the pinched ones um, towards the end. So um, they're, these are all a mix of um, synthetic and natural hair. Um, I believe it's Psycho goat hair, undyed goat hair. Something I wanted to point out, which I, um, I don't exactly know why, but some of them are different colors. So I don't know if it's like some are mixed in different proportions, but you can see like this one and this one are um, more of a caramel brown and the other ones are more of an ashy brown. I, um, and I, I apologize, I didn't do a ton of research. I read her posts on Instagram briefly, but I'm not sure if she explained why that is. But um, oh, also I washed these last night, so these are all washed. So let's start out with the, the rounded ones. And the smallest one in the set is the detail brush. So this is like a like an oversized pencil brush. It's not super tapered. It's a little bit more domed. And I do remember reading her um, post and she did like, she got like, I think a Mac paint pot and like did a very intense line with this. So I guess this is good if you are someone that wants to line with a cream shadow, then you can put this in and maybe do like a, more like a thicker line. I don't, none of these are gonna be very specific as in like making like an eyeliner type of look. This is more for, I, yeah, I think just someone that wants maybe a little bit more intensity with the cream shadow. Also, if you're using a cream shadow with a uh, shimmer, or glitter, you can um, place this very intentionally, like in the corner of the eye or on the eyelid. I did try this with some of my products and they didn't work out, but I don't know if it's the products I'm using are expired. I don't know exactly when I got them, but I tried it with the Nude Sticks um, pencil shadow and the Laura Mercier um, liquid glitter shadow and tried it with the Urban Decay, I think they're called like Primer Potion, but it was the eyeshadow, the one that has pigment that's kind of shimmery. And I also tried it with concealer, but I, you know, I did, I actually filmed this yesterday and I filmed a tutorial and it just wasn't working out. That's why I have to refilm this. And I'm not going to do a tutorial because I don't think I just don't think with my skills I'll be able to get a good look with this with these brushes. So again, it's it's meant for someone that is familiar with that type of medium. But um, yeah, this is like a like a really big, you know, pencil brush, I guess. And then there's another one that um, is a little bigger. It's called the blender. So it's like a round blending brush. And I don't know if I mentioned these are all pretty dense and even after a wash I thought they would especially like this one would have fluffed up more but it kind of didn't it feel this one feels pretty much the same and I did try this one this morning with some powders I just didn't like how it came out but 
yeah this one is more you know your standard round domed blending brush so I mean I don't know if you have a cream if you do like this type of blending I guess you can you can like maybe smudge out areas that are a little too dark but um, it kind of reminds me like of an itty bitty soft concealer the shape is very similar to that one just much smaller and I did notice like just you know touching them like this I feel like the eye fusion brushes are silkier they just yeah they just feel a little bit softer silkier and like a little bit less grippy I feel like these are they have more like like these can really grip onto products the face ones these feel very silky okay and then she has two of these smaller flat pinch ferrule brushes and this one is called the builder so she makes her builder brushes like this and it looks pretty much identical to the builder three which i have i don't uh, just my preference i don't like using this type of brush to build pigment to put shimmer or glitter or anything i use these to line uh, and i haven't tried this for lining but in general i've tried a couple of the other ones to line with a powder shadow and they didn't work out well they just um they kind of you know brought the product in but didn't apply it so i'm really not sure what i would use this for but that's yeah that's the um the builder brush and I, I believe i read something like this is meant to pack on pigment like you know those liquid glitter formulas um and that, yeah you could line too with it because it has that flat edge also it's a little slanted i don't know if that's intentional but it kind of like is a little bit longer on one side And then she has the worker, which is kind of like that one, but it's just not as pinched and it's a little fluffier and a little longer. And this one looks a little, no, 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 this one's not slanted. This one is completely round. So this one reminds me of the worker pro. And I think the design is pretty much identical. It's just that materials are different. So this is a worker pro here. And they're fairly similar in like the width. Actually, the um, Fusion Eye Brush is, is much bigger. There's more hairs and it's a lot thicker this way. So this is what I would normally use for if I did use those cream um, shadows and I were to blend it, I would use something like this. So I, I was probably fine not getting these. I was just, I just got very curious and so I got them and the price point was was pretty good so you know I didn't feel like I was gonna lose out a whole lot and yes I did um, buy these with my own money so that's the worker and then the largest one is the jumbo worker and this one is is quite large and I did use this fairly recently for I used it with the Hollywood flawless filter and actually i have some right here i'll use it i'll use a little bit more i messed up on my last filming of this so this is like this is actually the third time i'm filming this okay so this is the only brush that i feel like i found like a good purpose for so here's the the flawless filter i'm going to kind of load that up and these brushes they really like soak up product which i think is I think maybe that's what's supposed to do. So I've just been tapping like this very lightly. I generally don't like putting <clears throat> cream and or I don't like putting any kind of liquidy um, highlighter or, or blush over my foundation. If I do this, I usually like doing it under because oftentimes my foundation will lift, but that hasn't happened with this brush. So that's a good thing. And I feel the same with the, the, the face brushes. If you want to do this with um, this kind of hair, I think this is a good type of hair to do like liquid, you know, cheap products on top of your foundation. Uh, it looks really beautiful. <clears throat> and then I also tried it with the Merit highlighting stick. I have that in Kava and it, it came out really nice. I have a little bit of that on this side. Neither of these are super strong highlighters, so I don't know if you're going to see it that well. I think you can. So this brush, I, I think I will use for this purpose. But, but again, I don't, 
really favor cream or liquid highlighters. I do prefer powder highlighters. So um, I don't, yeah, I don't know exactly how much I will use this brush. And it's pretty big. I wanted to show it next to the Jumbo Concealer just to give you guys an idea of the size. It's considerably bigger than the Jumbo <clears throat> Concealer there. So for an eye brush, it's, it's quite large. And I don't know if I mentioned, I did try this with the Dior <clears throat> Backstage Concealer as a way to kind of like prep my eyes. And I, I didn't like it for that because it like just soaked up all the product and I don't, I don't feel like I was getting enough coverage from the concealer. So yeah, I was thinking, well, I'll use these for concealer, but I, I wouldn't recommend that. At least not, not this one. But it does put that flawless filter on very nicely and evenly. And it doesn't, at least the way I did it here, it doesn't, didn't lift my foundation. Okay, so those are my thoughts on the new Sonergy Fusion eye brushes. I, you know, I'll, I'll kind of recap. If you identify with um, my needs, you know, you're someone that really favors powder shadows, you like to do shadows that require um, a little bit more a little bit more work you want to create depth in your eyes and you're not a one and done person you know i don't think these will suit your needs and i'm also echoing uh, sonia's um, comments on her instagram but if you're someone that is comfortable using creams and liquids on the eye these can be um, very valuable to you uh, I would not recommend getting these for concealer or for the sake of using it with, um, for example, the Flawless Filter. Yes, this one does work for that, but it's not a result that you can't get somewhere else. So um, if even if these were available individually, if I had to go back and choose one, I... I really don't think any of these will suit my uh, makeup needs. So I hope that makes sense. I, I, I wanted to be really honest and those are that's my opinion. I've tried them on two occasions and this is the only one that I feel I could um, fit into my makeup routine. But <clears throat> again, liquid highlighters and stick highlighters aren't really my thing anyways. So, you know, these, I might play with these a little bit more, but I would have to like buy new eyeshadows to, I think, really make use of these brushes. So those are my final thoughts. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I re really apologize for not having um, better insight um, with these brushes. So that's, that's as much as I could provide. Um, I just wanted to also let you guys know I have a couple of new brush hauls that I, I'm really excited about. I really want to get the haul videos out. So that should be up probably not till next week, but I will try my best to get it up as soon as possible because I have one, uh, the Food A Japan haul that I just received. Um, I just briefly looked at it and I'm just so excited. They're, they're really, really amazing brushes and I can't wait to share them with you guys. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.